Just went to Subway, got a six inch. You lost a six inches. Not a stick. You know I'm insecure. Why the f you tell everyone? They don't need to f know. You always piss me off. Always on my <laughs> this isn't funny. The reason why this isn't funny, it's a lot of men out here that are depressed because of the size of their penis. Right? It's a lot of guys out here who are depressed because of the size of their penis, but they don't even have small penises. Think about it this way. How many of y'all grew up, right? Thinking that maybe your joint was small. And then as you kept on having sex with females, you realize, oh, oh, right? Now imagine you never get that realization. Imagine that the realization is that your shit really is small. It's not funny. What do you say you have W Riz? My boy right here. My skin. My you have Riz? Skin. It's gotta be him, bro. So, I said so. If I mic you up right now, you can get a girl's number. I think so, yeah. If you get the number, you get $20. Excuse me. How are you doing today? I'm good. How are you? I'm good. What's your name? Hi, I'm Lauren. Nice to meet you, Lauren. Nice to meet you. Nice What's to meet up? you. I thought you were beautiful, that's all. I'm serious. I just want to get straight Wait, to the point. Where are you yeah. going? You want to serve me? What's your name? Roman. Roman. Can I get your number? Okay, go ahead. Six, seven, eight. Yeah, there you go. There we go. Where are you actually going to silver? I swear to God. I, I actually want to go. Okay, Can I, I come too. with you? Yeah, I, you I think my friend's there. Okay, yeah. All right, Roman, okay. let's go to silver. All right, let's go to silver. Sorry, I, I, I think you're okay. <laughs> what would you rate this game on a scale of one to ten? Honestly, it was unexpected. I was looking for my friends. I would give it like a seven out of ten. Like it was really nice. You got that twenty dollars. What are you gonna use it for? I'm probably gonna buy a drink. I'm not gonna lie for her. You gonna buy her a drink? I got to. I got to. I got to. Hope you guys have fun. I love you so much. I mean, he kept it simple. He just carried a conversation. And I think that's that's what most people need to do. Some of y'all just be extra. Some of y'all come up with these pickup lines when all you got to do is just carry a conversation. Hey, how you doing? Now, I'm not going to lie. He about 6'3". <laughs> so he already playing with a full deck of cards. We going to call a spade a spade. Y'all know how they feel about them tall. I pledge allegiance to abolish these... Y'all are so embarrassing. Men are so embarrassing, 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 embarrassing. Y'all talk too much. Y'all are really becoming women. And it's embarrassing, like. I don't know who hurt you, man. But don't put that smut on all of us. I'm getting so tired of reacting to these type of videos. I'm going to be honest with you. Go ahead and tell us the source of your anger. What happened? Who did it to you? What's his name? Hmm? Dante? Dantavius? What, what did Dantavius do to you? Oh, man, you beat in a woman's face? Or you, you helped your mans do it? <laughs> Which one was it? A seven-year-old son boarded at the ATM. Also, she was with her son. Damn. In front of the kids? Interesting. Wow. Domestic terrorists, y'all. Seven Alex. Hey, yo, one thing I can say about folks from New York, the way more be disrespecting the police is crazy and i'm not gonna lie i know why if you ain't go through the giuliani era you would not understand why they hate the police so much every chance they get to antagonize the police they're gonna do it because guess what the police gonna do it to them and i keep saying them even though i'm from up top but you know i've, I've been in georgia a long time so i'm from georgia now if you never went through the stop and frisk era you're not gonna understand why they be coming at the police like that in this situation, they have evidence. Click that or click, 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 click it. Two substantiated. Go in there, go in there. Substantiated. Oh, two substantiated? Oh my gosh. Oh, I think we found them. Most recent, 2021. Hold up. Oh, Ooh, that's him. That's him. Oh, and they got the good screenshot. That's him, my Oh, Mmm, interesting. We're going to have to upgrade that picture. We're going to use this one right here. We're going to oh, upgrade that. Was oh my God. He almost got like a million dollars in a lawsuits. A million dollars in lawsuits? Ooh. Know how much is we that what we doing? Is that what we doing? Oh my god. <laughs> okay. Oh my god. Yo, you cost it's the city a lot of money, boy. A lot. No wonder you down no here. No wonder my taxes is fat. Yo, no wonder this nigga the subway the tax is at the subway. Holy sh you oh dirty. God. You dirty as hell. You're dirty on the low. You didn't get dirty today, you feel me? But Yo. usually for Yo, me. Yo, what what was the most recent dirt? Because it's not 2021. Oh, you here for a reason. You know what you do recently? Money, right? Yo, they coming at his neck. Oh, yeah, that's all right. One situation, two hundred thousand dollars. We gonna investigate you, One boy. Situation. We gonna investigate you further. That's interesting. We got a for two hundred thousand dollars. We got suits for two. You can tell he guilty. They touching his soul. I don't hate police. Every person in the police force is not bad. But as with everything, you always have some bad apples. 
Like I was saying before, bro, if you've never been through the Giuliani era where these folks felt as though they could do whatever they wanted, you wouldn't understand. Until you got stopped and frisked for no reason, and then the police that stopped and frisked you know that you're innocent. Know that you don't have nothing on you. So in turn, they try to antagonize you, and they try to talk to you crazy, hoping that you would respond back. The way these dudes are responding back. When I was growing up, bro, you could not... I'm being... I'm being 100 with you. When I was growing up, you couldn't talk to the police like that. Because they was going to beat your ass. They was going to do something dirty. Things changed. Like they said, them lawsuits. And now we have the internet. If you don't believe that they used to do some foul shit, look up Abner Luima. Alright, so if you've been enjoying the video so far, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Make sure you hit that notification bell. Leave a comment. Let me know how you're feeling about the videos. And you know, our next milestone is half a mil, man. So let's get right. Stop playing with me. You date me if I wasn't gay? No. Why not? Because I like black guys. What do you love about black guys? Stunning, gorgeous, beautiful. Who do you think has it harder, black people or gay people? I can't, like, play trauma Olympics. Would you rather date Ooh. a black conservative? I can't play trauma Olympics. That's a bar. Or a, a white guy. Has to be a liberal. Even if they're like juicy black? Yeah, even. How come? I don't do Republicans. <laughs> I'm not big on politics, but let me oh, let me tell y'all something. I'ma tell y'all something. I'ma reveal something to y'all. I got contacted. I get somebody that represents a certain political party to sway my audience into voting. I definitely didn't think I had that much pull. You know, I'm just making my little videos or whatever. They wanted to discuss my political views and then try to convince me as to why my political views was, you know, should be a, a certain type of way. It was weird to me. Y'all tell me what's worse. The man that you like arguing in the shade room comments or the man that you like going on the Pop the Balloon show. What's worse? I don't know. I can't tell you. I know one thing. I would never go on that Pop the Balloon show. <laughs> <laughs> I would never go on that Pop the Balloon show. When I was living in Atlanta, I ran into a little financial crisis, right? So my homegirl at the time would let me crash at her spot until I moved to my spot, which took a couple months. So we had smacked once, but we weren't smacking like crazy because I ain't like her like that. Like, I liked her, but I ain't like her. You know what I'm saying? I needed somewhere to be, somewhere to go at the time. When I first moved to Atlanta, it was a lot of that. When I lived in them dorms, it was a lot of dudes who did not go to our school that was shacking up with girls that went to our school in them dorms. And them niggas was the ones doing all the dirt. Running into people's rooms, robbing them, robbing people in the parking lot. You feel me? Stealing people's clothes. Yo, mm. Long, long day for a long day of work. Whole 10 hour shift. Boy, I'm in the crib, stretched out on the couch, socks off, air on, fan on me, good movie on, TV. TV remote beside me, good food and drinks right here, right? Charlotte walk in the house, look at me and say, you a little too comfortable not to be paying no bills. So I'm like, no, nah, baby, you know what I'm saying? I'm just waiting for you to get here. I got a good movie we can watch, you know what I'm saying? How your day been and all that? As I'm saying all this, she didn't cut me off and said, and we, you ain't smacking me. She didn't say smack. She said another word, but I can't say it. So I'm like, no, nah, baby, it ain't like that. She cut me off again. You don't like women or something? What's wrong with you? Wait, better yet, when you moving to your spot? I knew right then it was time for me to go. Baby said, I'm too comfortable not to be paying no... It sounded like she might have been Huff. <laughs> she might have been Huff, and he was paying for his rent and dick. You got to pay something, my boy. You got to pay something. Somebody in the comment section said, you got to pay a bill or pay attention. Bills. Only me, bro. Only me. Okay. You know what's crazy about that? The last year that I had my apartment, I had some of my friends living with me. It's different situations. One of my mans had moved out here to do music, and it was cool, because my boy always came through with the rent. When I moved other people in, well, my boy DJ, he came through with the rent, too. He wasn't on no bullshit. He would give me something every now and then. You feel me? But <laughs> I had this other homeboy, dog. I ain't gonna lie to you, folks. Anytime it was the end of the month, this nigga had an excuse. And mind you, he was older than all of us. And the way he ended up staying with me was even crazier because he was staying next door to me and it was a chick whose name was on the lease. So the chick ended up moving out like halfway through the lease or whatever. 
and he stayed. And when it was time for him to leave, I was like, hey, bro, tell them people, you know what I'm saying, you about to leave. He's like, all right, all right, all right. I'm like, yo, did you start looking for an apartment yet? You know you got to start looking. Yeah, 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 I've been doing it, I've been doing it. Bro, the last week of his lease ending, mans came over there like, hey, bro, you think I could just stay over here with you for, you know what I'm saying? For a few weeks or whatever, something going on and I can't find a place. And at the time, bro, I was naive. You know what I'm saying? I feel like, oh, this is my boy. This we cool. So I was like, all right, bro, you cool, you good. Stay with me. And out of everybody that was there with me, bro, he was the only one who was having problems when it came to the rent, bro. And it wasn't like he had to pay that much. My rent was like six something at first. Me and my boy Nick was going half one. But then after that, once we started having more people there, I'm like, all right, Nick don't gotta pay this much. You pay two. Nick paid two, I got my two, and then, you feel me, everybody else, I think my boy DJ was there, so the bread that my boy DJ would give me, that would go towards the, the light and the gas and shit like that. But I say all that to say, there's nothing like a motherfucker not paying their half of the bill, and then you come from work, and then you see on the couch, playing the Xbox, just comfortable, that hit different. I used to feel like a tyrant, bro. I come to the crib, and I'm like... I just did 12 hours. Niggas is just sitting here happy. Bro. Mm. The the crazy part is, um, so Nick ended up moving out with DJ. And then me and this dude stayed in the crib or whatever. And then I ended up moving out. And again, it's like son was just so fucking... Son never had it together, dog. You knew I was finna move out. I've been telling him, hey, bro, you gotta find a place to go because I gotta move out. My lease is about to be up. I'm moving out this day right here. He's like, ah, yeah, yeah, I'm working on that. I'm working on that. The day I'm finna move out, I give these people my key. He's like, bro, you think you just leave the, the door open for me? Like, leave the window open? You know what I'm saying? I just gotta spend one more night and then I'm gone. Again, me being naive, I did it. Three days after I moved out, I just happened to drive by my old apartment. And I see that the screen door was open. I'm like, why the f is the screen door open? I go inside, dog. I hop the banister. I walk inside. And my whole apartment was thrashed. Somebody climbed over the balcony, went in there. Threw cereal in the toilet. Um, they clogged the toilet with cereal. They threw cereal and, and cinnamon and shit all over the, the tub. Mind you, I had cleaned this crib spotless before I leave. Because you know, once you leave an apartment, if it's not up to par, they take your deposit. Because of what, I don't, need, I don't even think he did it. I just think he had somebody in there or he told somebody that the apartment was open. I don't know, bro. I, I have no idea. Because of that and because of me trusting this man, I lost my deposit and I ended up having to pay my apartment complex $3,000 in damages. $3,000 in damages because of that. It, to this day, dog, I mean, we, we speak, you know what I'm saying? I speak to him every, like, now and then. But to this day, bro, I don't think I ever forgave him for that. I never, I didn't forgive him for that at all. It was a situation where um, he had moved to another state. And I think he was finna, he thought he was gonna die. Like, he was on the hot, he was, he pretty much was on his deathbed. You feel me? His heart was beating at, like, 20% or some something to that effect. And then he called me. And he was apologizing and he was saying, bro, you know, you always looked out for me. And, you know, um, I'm just sorry for everything. I'm sorry for um, taking advantage of your trust. And you just saying all that, bro. But I, I promise you, dog, I'm listening to him, bro. And I did not give a f It's messed up to say. But at the same time, I understood what transpired. I understood who he was. When he was with that girl, he used that girl to get in that apartment. And the way he left that apartment, because her name was on the lease, I'm pretty sure it f***ed her up also. Then you came to me and you used me and you 
fucked me up also. So he was just going out through life, just messing people up, using people. So that day when he called me, bro, I didn't care. But I'm happy he's alive. You know what I'm saying? I'm happy that he got another chance to redeem himself. 